Wellington School District wants the city to take action to keep students safe. Melissa Cooney tells us what they want to see. I'm here at Market Street in South Burlington where 1,000 new homes are being built behind me in 50,000 square feet of new land. Now this is happening right next to one of the elementary schools in town. So both the city and the school district are working on ways to make getting to school safer for bikers, walkers and drivers. Rick Marcotte Central School is at the center of development all around it. With that, some parents have thoughts on the increasingly busy part of town. It's still a little bit chaotic because of all the buildings going up. Um, I like that the stop signs are there, but a lot of people still aren't aware that they're there, so they're still kind of speeding through. Some wonder if RCMS centered at development is the beginning of what's to come in a city where over 400 new homes popped up last year alone. So they really need the advocacy of other parents out there and people to go out to your local like, city hall and such and be like, hey, we, this is a major concern we have. Superintendent Byla Nichols is requesting the city to fund traffic monitors at each of the schools and for there to be school zones at each building saying many schools are adjacent on busy spots like Dorset Street, Market Street, Hinesburg Road, and Shelburne Road. We're big supporters of the development and just want to ensure that schools are a part of that plan. Nichols says the district is looking to Burlington School District for inspiration, which has both traffic monitors and school zones funded by the city. We're hopeful that the city will honor our request for school zones, city-funded traffic monitors, and improved lighting near all of our schools. For the last nine months, the district has asked the city for different safety elements along the lines of lighting, signage, speed limits, and traffic studies. City Manager Jesse Baker says the city agrees school safety is vital. So there are two active school zones, a third that's not um, needed per a traffic engineer, and the final one's coming um, in the next nine months. Which is why they've taken up the topics six instances at council in this time period and funded around $100,000 for safety mechanisms, ranging from some crosswalks, increased signage at some schools, school zones at some schools and traffic studies at some schools. The council has approved twice um, a crossing guard for here in city center um, because of the active construction that's going to realize the community's vision of city center. Beyond that, they, the council to date has seen that as an expense that should sit on the school side of the ledger. She notes the city of Burlington operates on a different method where the city funds crossing guards through parking meter revenue. An SB, if not paid for by the district, she says guards would have to be funded through property taxes. And both the city and the school district say they expect safety conversations to continue. In South Burlington, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 News.